realm of business, the golden rule is not do unto others as you would have them do unto you, but wealth without risk. A notion that may seem counterintuitive to some, but an idea that has been beautifully unraveled in the book Wealth Without Risk. This book is not just a guide, but a treasure trove of wisdom and insight that can transform the way you perceive and handle your finances. The author of this book is no ordinary individual. He is a seasoned player in the world of business, a successful entrepreneur, and an acclaimed financial advisor. His credibility is unquestionable, and his teachings are founded on his real-life experiences and in-depth understanding of the financial world. Wealth Without Risk, the central premise of this book, is a concept that emphasizes the importance of risk management in wealth creation. It's not about avoiding risk entirely, that's virtually impossible. Instead, it's about understanding risk, managing it, and turning it into your ally. In the business world, risk is like a double-edged sword. It can either make you or break you. But, as the author of Wealth Without Risk explains, you can tilt the odds in your favor. You can create a wealth-building strategy that minimizes risk and maximizes returns. It's about making smart choices, informed decisions, and calculated moves. And what's the secret sauce, you ask? Well, it's a combination of knowledge, discipline, diversification, patience, and negotiation. Each of these elements plays a crucial role in creating a robust and risk-averse wealth-building strategy. So, are you ready to change your perception of risk? Are you ready to learn how to create wealth without unnecessary risk? Are you ready to take control of your financial future? If your answer is yes, then this book is for you. Let's delve into this fascinating book and learn the secret to building wealth without risk. Risk is a concept that is often misunderstood. It's not about avoiding all risks, it's about managing them effectively. In the business world, risk refers to the potential for loss or harm that may arise from a given set of actions, decisions, or events. It's a fundamental part of any business venture. However, risk isn't something to be feared or avoided. Quite the opposite, it's an essential ingredient in the recipe for wealth creation. Successful businesses don't eliminate risk, they manage it, they assess potential risks, plan for them, and when necessary, mitigate them. This process of risk management allows businesses to take calculated risks, which can lead to higher returns and greater wealth. So, to truly understand how to create wealth without risk, we must redefine our perception of risk. It's not an obstacle to wealth, but rather a stepping stone. To create wealth without risk, we must first understand what risk truly is. Knowledge is power, especially in the world of business. This is a truth that resonates throughout the pages of Business Wealth Without Risk. The book emphasizes the importance of acquiring knowledge and staying informed as a means to manage risk effectively. Imagine you're a sailor setting out on a voyage. The ocean is vast, unpredictable, and full of hidden dangers. But with the right knowledge, understanding the currents, knowing the weather patterns, and reading the stars, you can navigate these treacherous waters. The world of business is much the same. It's a vast and unpredictable ocean, but with the right knowledge, you can navigate it to find your treasure. So what kind of knowledge should we acquire? The book talks about understanding market trends. It's about knowing the ebb and flow of the market, recognizing the signs of a rising trend or a looming downturn. It's about understanding what drives these trends, whether it's a new technological breakthrough, a shift in consumer behavior, or a change in government policy. Then there are business fundamentals. It's not enough to just know the trends. You need to understand the underlying mechanics of how businesses work. What makes a business profitable? What are the key drivers of growth? How does a company's balance sheet look like? These are the kinds of questions that the book encourages us to ask and understand. And finally, there's economic indicators. It's about understanding the larger economic landscape in which businesses operate. What's the current state of the economy? Is it in a phase of growth or contraction? What's the unemployment rate? What's the inflation rate? These indicators give us a sense of the overall economic health and can guide us in making informed business decisions. This knowledge, as the book emphasizes, isn't just about being smart or informed. It's about being able to predict risks and protect our wealth. It's about being able to navigate the unpredictable ocean of business with confidence and precision. It's about being able to steer our ship towards wealth without falling into the traps of risk. Armed with knowledge, we can predict risks and protect our wealth. That's the power of knowledge in the world of business. That's the essence of business wealth without risk.
Diversification is not just a buzzword, it's a necessary strategy for risk management. So let's dive into the details. According to the book, diversification is a crucial element in the process of wealth creation. It's like having a balanced diet for your financial health. Just as you wouldn't eat only potatoes each day, you shouldn't put all your financial eggs in one basket either. The book emphasizes that diversification is not about investing in multiple businesses within the same sector. That's like saying you're diversifying your diet by eating different kinds of potatoes. True diversification means spreading your investments across different sectors, asset classes, and even geographical regions. But how do you diversify effectively? Well, the book provides some key tips. First, understand your risk tolerance. Diversification isn't about avoiding risk completely. It's about managing it. If you're a risk taker, you might lean more toward stocks. If you're risk averse, then bonds may be your go-to. Second, balance your portfolio. This means having a mix of different investments. You might have some stocks, some bonds, perhaps some real estate, and maybe even a bit of gold or other precious metals. The idea is to have a variety of investments that won't all move in the same direction at the same time. Third, keep an eye on your portfolio. Diversification isn't a set it and forget it strategy. It requires regular monitoring and adjustments as market conditions change. Lastly, don't let emotions drive your investment decisions. Fear and greed can lead to poor choices. So stay level-headed and make decisions based on facts, not feelings. Remember, diversification isn't about hitting home runs. It's about reducing the risk of striking out. It's about ensuring that a single bad investment doesn't wipe out your entire portfolio. It's about creating a solid, well-rounded investment strategy that can weather the ups and downs of the market. So in the end, diversification is not just about spreading your wealth, it's about protecting it. After all, as the saying goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversification is the key to spreading risk and protecting your wealth. Discipline is what separates the successful from the unsuccessful. This statement rings true in every aspect of life, but it is particularly poignant when we talk about wealth creation. You see, discipline in the context of wealth creation is not about deprivation or austerity. It's about setting goals, creating a plan, and sticking to that plan through thick and thin. Imagine you're setting off on a journey. You have a starting point and a destination. Without a clear path or a road map, you might get lost or worse, never reach your destination. The same principle applies to wealth creation. You need to set clear financial goals. These goals will serve as your road map, guiding you in your decisions and actions. But setting goals is only the initial step. The real challenge lies in sticking to them. This is where budgeting comes into play. Budgeting is an essential tool that helps you manage your finances effectively. It allows you to allocate your resources in a way that aligns with your financial goals. More importantly, it keeps you in check, preventing you from overspending or making impulsive financial decisions. Budgeting requires discipline, yes, but it's a discipline that pays off in the long run. Investing is another crucial aspect of wealth creation where discipline plays a significant role. It's not about making a quick buck. It is about being consistent and patient. It involves regularly investing a portion of your income, regardless of the market conditions. This approach, called dollar cost averaging, can help you build wealth over time. Again, this requires discipline, but as the old saying goes, slow and steady wins the race. So, you see, discipline is not just about self-control. It's about having a vision, a plan, and the tenacity to stick to that plan. It's about making informed decisions and being consistent in your actions. And above all, it's about understanding that wealth creation is a journey, not a destination. Discipline is the foundation of wealth creation without risk. It is the key that unlocks the door to financial independence and prosperity. Patience, they say, is a virtue. In business, it's a strategy. When it comes to wealth creation, patience isn't simply about waiting. It's about understanding the rhythm of growth and the tempo of success. It's about resisting the allure of quick profits and the siren song of instant gratification. It's about acknowledging that real, substantial wealth isn't built overnight. The book underscores the importance of avoiding short-term thinking, a pitfall that ensnares many. The desire for immediate returns can lead to hasty decisions, poor investments, and ultimately financial loss. Instead, it champions the philosophy of playing the long game, of planting seeds today and diligently nurturing them, knowing full well that the harvest may be seasons, even years away. The strategy of patience is about more than just waiting, though. 
It's about making calculated decisions, about knowing when to act and when to hold back. It's about recognizing the right opportunities and understanding that sometimes the best move is to stay still. And yes, patience can be challenging. It's human nature to want quick results. But remember this. The oak tree that stands tall and strong today started as a tiny acorn nurtured by time and nature. It didn't rush. It didn't strain. It simply grew, steadily, persistently. Patience is the strategy that ensures your wealth grows without unnecessary risks. It's the quiet, steady drumbeat that underscores the symphony of your financial success. Negotiation is an art, an art that can save you a lot of money. Now let's dive into how this art form can play a pivotal role in risk management and wealth creation. In the world of business, negotiation is not just about haggling over prices. It's about understanding the value of what's on the table and leveraging that to your advantage. It's about reaching a mutually beneficial agreement, one where both parties walk away feeling satisfied. The book offers a few key insights into effective negotiation. First, it emphasizes the importance of preparation. Know your numbers, understand the market, and be clear on what you're willing to compromise and what's non-negotiable for you. Knowledge is power, and in negotiations it provides you with a solid footing. Second, it stresses the importance of listening. Effective negotiation is not about overpowering the other party with your demands. It's about understanding their perspective, their needs, and their limitations. Listening gives you the ability to offer solutions that can satisfy both parties. Lastly, the book underscores the virtue of patience in negotiation. Good things come to those who wait, and in negotiation, sometimes the best deals are struck when you're willing to take your time and not rush the process. Remember, negotiation is a skill that can be honed and improved upon. It's not about winning or losing, it's about finding a balance, a middle ground where both parties feel they've gained something of value. Master the art of negotiation and you'll be well on your way to wealth without risk. Wealth without risk is not a myth, it's a reality that can be achieved with the right strategies. This statement has been the crux of our journey through the summary of the book Business Wealth Without Risk. We began with the golden rule of wealth, where we discovered that the key to building wealth isn't necessarily about making more money, but about preserving what you already have. This means avoiding unnecessary risks and taking calculated steps in your financial journey. Then we delved into the concept of understanding risk. We learned that risk isn't something to be feared, but to be managed. By understanding the nature of risk, we can make informed decisions that balance potential rewards with possible pitfalls. Our journey continued with the power of knowledge. Knowledge is indeed power, especially when it comes to wealth creation. The more you know about your investments, the market, and financial strategies, the better equipped you are to increase your wealth without taking on undue risk. Next, we touched on the importance of diversification. Spreading your investments across different asset types can help to mitigate risk. This way, if one investment doesn't perform as expected, others may offset the loss. We then explored the role of discipline. It's crucial to stay disciplined in your investment strategy, even when the market fluctuates. Discipline helps to prevent rash decisions that could potentially lead to loss. Our penultimate point was the strategy of patience. Wealth creation isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It takes time for investments to mature and for wealth to build. Finally, we discussed the art of negotiation. Negotiating effectively can help you secure better deals and increase your returns, further contributing to your risk-free wealth creation. Remember, wealth without risk is possible. It just takes knowledge, diversification, discipline, patience, and negotiation. So go out there and start building your wealth without the risk.